rocks and minerals what is a rock you know that rocks are great masses of materials that cover large areas of the earth right they are solid physical and chemical units forming large portions of the earth's crust the smaller rocks are only pieces broken from larger rock masses that may extend for many miles such pieces are called samples and by studying them we can find out how these rocks were formed and in what ways they differ in their structure and composition so let's find out all about rocks sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks are formed from deposits of sediments water wind and ice carry away pieces of rocks mud pebbles gravel sand etc and deposit them elsewhere in layers as more materials pile up on top of one another the pressure of the upper layers hardens the lower layers which forms into rocks with the passage of time sedimentary rocks are mostly formed from the materials brought down by the streams forming into rivers and eventually flowing into the sea small animals and plants that drift down along with the water also get buried in these rocks in course of time they form fossils Some sedimentary rocks are formed from materials precipitated from solution in water. These are called chemical sedimentary rocks. Example: limestone and dolomite. Examples of sedimentary rocks. A conglomerate Now this is a coarse-grained rock formed from gravel, stones, pebbles, and even boulders, which have solidified. In this rock, stones and pebbles are cemented together to form a hard mass, which can resist weathering. B. Sandstone. This consists of grains of quartz. and sand cemented together some kinds of sandstone are porous c shale this is made up of clay that has become rock mainly due to pressure it consists of parallel layers which readily split into flat pieces D limestone Limestone is a fine grained fairly soft rock made up largely of the mineral calcite It may also contain pieces of animal shells E dolomite Dolomite is like limestone but contains magnesium also igneous rocks igneous rocks are formed from molten rock material igneous rocks are formed by the solidification of molten rock material the hot liquid mineral mass called magma comes out from deep inside the earth through volcanoes and cools down to form rocks now these rocks may have a fine or coarse texture igneous rocks contain minerals like mica 
feldspar and quartz. They also contain silica, iron and magnesium. Examples of igneous rocks A. Granite This is an acidic, light-colored rock composed mainly of quartz and feldspar. It has coarse grains. B. Pumice This is formed by a very quick cooling of lava and has a sponge-like structure because of trapped gas bubbles. Some samples of pumice are light enough to float on water. Metamorphic rocks Heat and pressure bring about both physical and chemical changes in the rock-forming minerals. The rocks may be greatly altered by the action of these two factors. Examples of metamorphic rocks A. Slate Slate is formed from shale by the action of heat and pressure on it. It is very fine-grained and splits into thin slabs very easily. It is very useful for roofing, for making pavements and for making blackboards. B. Marble Marble is formed from limestone. Under heat and pressure, the fine crystals of limestone change to much larger crystals. Now, marble is usually white except in cases where it contains mineral impurities. Then it may show colored veins bands and other patterns. C. Nays Nays is usually formed from granite. It is a rock with a coarse texture and has parallel streaks and bands of minerals. D. Coal Coal is formed from the remains of plants that accumulate in a swamp or bog. Over a long period of time, heat and pressure drive out moisture, gases and other matter from these remains, leaving behind carbon in different amounts. Low-grade coal has less of carbon in it, while superior quality coal has more carbon in it. I'm sure you have seen coal somewhere or the other. Did you hold it? Doesn't it blacken the hands so? Moon, rock and soil Have you ever wondered how the scientists found out about the moon? Well, scientists have learned about the moon by studying rocks and soils brought back by the U.S. astronauts. Moon Rock Two main types of rock have been collected by the astronauts. Basalt, a common volcanic rock, and breccia, which is made of soil and pieces of rock squeezed together when hit by falling objects. Moon rock consists chiefly of minerals containing aluminium, calcium, iron, magnesium, oxygen, silicon, and titanium. Moon soil Moon soil collected by the first Apollo astronauts was dark gray in color. 
It consisted of tiny pieces of ground up rock, bits of glass, and scattered chunks of rock. The soil was formed by repeated grinding and churning of the moon's surface as meteoroids hit it and craters were formed. Nothing grows or lives in moon soil. The soil contains no plant or animal fossils. Important Metals in Rocks Rocks contain some important metals like aluminium, copper and iron. Aluminium is not found in free state. It is found in combined state. Bauxite and cryolite are main ores of aluminium. Aluminium is found in Andhra Pradesh, Jamnagar and Surat. Copper is found in combined state. Pyrites and malachite are the main ores of copper. It is found in Bihar and Dharwar. Iron is also found in combined state. Hematite, magnetite and siderite are the main ores of iron. It is mainly found in Maharashtra, Mysore, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. Uses of Rocks We use rocks for many things. They are used to make buildings. They also give us many useful, everyday things. Can you think what they are? Well, diamond is used in jewellery. It is also used for cutting glass. Graphite is used in making the lead of pencils. It is a soft rock. Marble is used for making statues and buildings. The Taj Mahal is made up of marble. The Red Fort in Delhi is made up of red sandstone. Coal is used for burning. Granite is used for making floors in homes and offices.